Hey guys, what is up? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is another fall video. You guys know fall is like my favorite season ever. So today I'm going to be doing like fall favorites, but I'm also going to be including like some activities that you can do. So it's going to be like fall favorites plus some other stuff jumbled in there and I'm actually really excited about this video because it is gonna be a collab video but it's not gonna be any collab video it's going to be a different collab video because you guys never see me do a collab video here on my channel like this so I want to introduce the person in the collab and it is what's up you guys it's Danielle so over on my channel I'm so excited to be doing a collab with Ashley I'm gonna be doing another sort of fall essentials video how to make the most out of your fall I'm doing some activities and just some other fun things that you need to have just to have a good fall because fall is my favorite season. I know it's yours yeah, as well. It is. So that's what she's doing on her channel. You guys gotta go over there, check her out, subscribe, and let her know that I sent you. Her videos are amazing. So that is it. I'm done rambling. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So to be honest, a lot of my beauty essentials revolve around lip colors. My all-time favorite color at the moment is Dose of Colors Bury Me, which is a very beautiful kind of burgundy matte shade. Another one that I've been loving from Dose of Colors is Truffle. This is the perfect nude. It's kind of like a nudish brown, but not too brown, a little bit more nude. This color is such a throwback color for me, and it's Wet n Wild's Cherry Bomb. It's like $2 at the drugstore, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I always bust it out every single fall season. As for gloss, I love Anastasia's Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Undressed. There's something about wearing a glossy lip no matter the season. It really gives you a bigger pout, and I just feel like it's flattering on so many people. Now, if you know me, then you know highlighters are all year round for me. But I've been specifically loving Oh Darling by MAC, which recently released in their Magic of the Night collection. It's pretty much sold out everywhere, but you guys know I looks out, so I picked up two of them. If you guys want to learn how to win the other one, be sure to follow me over on my Instagram because I'm doing a giveaway over there for you guys. I don't know if it's just me, but every single season, I make sure that I write a list of things that I want to do, and I kind of mark them off my bucket list as I do them. So this season, I knew for sure that I wanted to visit a pumpkin patch, because the last time I went to like a real deal pumpkin patch was when I was a little, little girl. So this experience brought back so many positive memories. Me and my friend Danielle, we just kind of walked around, we picked up some pumpkins, we kind of compared them, we took some photos, and it just really got us into that fall mood. As we get older, I notice that the internet kind of consumes people. So one thing that I recommend doing this fall season is to go out, experience nature, and read a book. Recently, I've been loving Shay Mitchell's book, Bliss. So what I did is I just took a blanket, put some throw pillows, and I kind of put some leaves around me so that way I would feel more fall. And I read because reading, honestly, is awesome. And I feel like we all take it for granted because we're so busy either on our phones or on social media. I know Starbucks is on everybody's mind every single fall season, PSLs, toasted cream latte. I know, I get it, but I definitely recommend visiting a real deal coffee shop, sipping on some artistic lattes, taking some Instagram photos, and just winding down. Honestly, it's a lot better than the Starbucks experience. I went to this place called Buddy Brew with my friend Danielle. It's very artsy, the atmosphere is very calm, it's very soothing, and it's just awesome. So if you guys want to check this place out, I definitely recommend it, and who knows, maybe I'll bump into you guys there. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, fall fashion in Florida is so difficult. So one of the things I gravitate towards most is very nice flouncy kind of flowy dresses. I picked this one up at American Eagle. I also love wearing cute little hats, especially like if I'm going on brunch dates or something like that. 
in the event that it gets slightly cool in Florida, I like to just wear very thin layers. I like to pair leggings with ankle boots, very flowy tops, and just very light jackets. If you guys follow my Instagram, then you guys know this sweater made an appearance several times when I was in New York City. I love chunky knits. I specifically love this one because it covers my booty and it keeps me warm. I picked this one up over at Urban Outfitters. I've also recently been loving ankle booties, which is a complete shock. So these boots right here are from Forever 21 and these brown ones are from American Eagle. Okay, you guys, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know what your essentials are for fall. Like, if you like, I don't know, whatever you like, just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out Danielle's YouTube channel and her video, all that stuff, and I am daily vlogging over on my vlog channel, so you guys could check it out to see a behind the scenes of today's kind of video shoot, and that is it. So, I love you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be sure to see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>